and he asks for some noise but it'll come for the two antics inside and Jimmy Webb he's taken his chance well after initially being a reserve Max Boggins withdrawal gave him his chance and you know he could threaten if the pace is not blistering he can finish as quickly as anybody but Ben Patterson the 20 year old riding a wave of confidence at the moment went below 145 a couple of weeks ago for the first time and then won his heat here in the first round, Alex Amankwa, US born Ghanaian, so disappointed at the World Championships, thought he'd made it to the final but was disqualified there for a lane violation, looking to make some amends here. But one of the favourites really, might be an Australian middle distance double in the men's side, Ollie Hoare in the 1500, Peter Ball, such a popular figure as well in Australia, Wycliffe Kinyamal is the defending champion, one as a 21 year old on the Gold Coast. And Guy Learmont, and just to make the final, a real achievement given the season he's had again, like so many injury has affected him in the spring and uh, early summer. This is third Commonwealth Games and into the final. And Nigel Amos took this title for Botswana in Glasgow in 2014. An outside chance here of a medal for Utamelo Masilo, down to 145.74 this season. You know, it's pretty open though. And yes, we highlight Peter Ball. It was just a place outside the medals in Tokyo, the Australian, but Ben Patterson and Jamie Webb line up and they have a chance. Ben Patterson, oh, steady, and away you go. And two English vests will ensure two laps of increasing noise. And it can lift the home athletes, but you still have to judge it right in an 800 meters. And we look to the big two here and see what the tactics are for Peter Ball and Wycliffe Kinyamal. Yeah, the two, well, can you know the defending champion and fastest on paper, and then Peter Ball would be the two standing probably above the others, but when it goes like this and it gets messy, then that's when absolutely the home support can play a big role, and Jamie Webb in particular talked about how much extra energy that gave him in the first round. So Webb just sitting at the back there, Patterson in front of him, coming around the outside, here is a man called powerfully built figure, and again, he was just devastated after the world championships and that disqualification but it is Kinyamal and Ball out in front Patterson the youngster just sitting in the back and just looking to his right already getting in a, an unpleasant position he's got to find a way out of that yeah Patterson has to get out of that he's run himself into a box and I don't think that's going to open up in front of him you can see Learmont looking around he's not able to get out either and now Patterson has to come a long long way around Jamie Webb's in the best place Yes, at the home athletes, Webb is poised, but the big two out in front, Kinyamal and Ball, and as Webb had the running, Patterson still there, but on the inside, just behind Guy Learman, Kinyamal though, starts to lift it, can the home athletes live with this pace, the Kenyan, Kinyamal, Peter Ball, chasing him down, Jamie Webb is there, but that gap is growing between the front two and the rest, Kinyamal stretches it out, here comes Patterson around the outside, the youngster, Kinyamal though, straining, straining, waiting for that line to come, but the noise goes for Patterson, chasing down a bronze medal, Kinyamal out in front, can Ball get to him, no, Kinyamal surely hanging up for gold, silver for Ball, bronze for Patterson, the 20 year old, takes a Commonwealth medal, it wasn't quick because of that first lap, but the second lap was, it was too quick for the rest, and Kinyamal takes it, he defends his title, Kenya have this title again, and Peter Ball just couldn't get back to him, but in the battle for the the other places for the remaining medal it was Patterson who emerged and he is an emerging talent and that's wonderful to see.